Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Dear Bro. Our letter for today is about an OFW's regret on not raising his own family while working abroad. Dear Bro, I was inspired by the pilot episode of Dear Bro. That's why I decided to share my story to your viewers and subscribers. My name is John, an engineer by profession and the former OFW. Dahil sa pandemic, ay napilitan na akong umuwi ng Pilipinas for good. Taong 1984 na umalis ako ng Pilipinas upang magtrabaho sa ibang bansa. Binata at may mataas na pangarap sa buhay. I graduated from one of the top universities in the Philippines. I have a very high self-confidence and a hardworking person. And because of that, my employer was really impressed and trusted me to handle big projects. Hindi naman sa pagyayabang, bro. Outstanding daw ang personality ko, sabi ng mga kasama ko sa trabaho. May isang kasamahan ako sa opisina na isa ring Filipina. Siya si Beth. Maganda na, mabait pa. I have a special feeling for her. Na sa tingin ko ay hindi bilang kaibigan. Yes, bro. May lihim akong pagtingin kay Beth. But I must admit, Being into a relationship was not my priority during those times. Gusto kong maging manager ng company na pinapasukan ko, kaya mas pinili kong mag-focus sa aking trabaho at hindi naman ako nabigo dahil naging manager ako ng company after two years. And as part of my incentives, the company rented a condo unit for me plus a company car and a higher salary. Dumalang ang pagkikita namin ni Beth sa office dahil dumami ang aking trabaho. Once in a while ay nagkikita kami sa kantin at nagkakamustahan. And I came to realize that I'm still in love with Beth. I just cannot let her know because I don't want to be committed to someone that can affect my job. Dahil nagsisimula pa lang akong i-enjoy ang buhay ko. Alam kong special din ako kay Beth. Dahil nararamdaman ko ang concern niya at kapag nagkikita kami, I can see the glow in her eyes. We both have special feelings with each other, bro. But I'm afraid being in a relationship with her might affect my job and I may be out of focus. Ayoko may masabi ang employer ko sa akin. I was thinking na marami pang panahon para sa pag-ibig. Lumipas pa ang mga taon ay mas lalo akong nakilala sa opisina dahil sa mga deals na naikuklose ko, mga malalaking projects, kaya ganoon na lamang ang bilib sa akin ng aking employer. Talagang nag enjoy ako sa buhay ko na malaya at pwede kong mabili ang mga bagay na gusto ko at madali na lang kumuha ng babae kapag marami kang pera. At dahil doon, nakalimutan ko pansamantala ang damdamin ko kay Beth. Isang araw, may ipinakilala sa akin ay isang bagong kaso ng empleyado. Si Vince. Karalating lang niya galing Pilipinas. Yes bro, isa siyang Pinoy. Lumipas pa ang mga buwan ay nabalitaan ko na boyfriend na ni Beth, si Vince. For the first time in my life, I can't explain what I felt that time. I stayed awake the whole night thinking of Beth. I don't know why I felt heartbroken. Ayoko mawala sa akin si Beth. That was the very first time that I felt so alone in my life. The following day, I asked Beth if I can invite her for a dinner. Just the two of us. At first, she was hesitant because of her boyfriend. But I was able to convince her. During the weekend, I picked her up from her place and brought her to an expensive restaurant and had our dinner 
together. After that, I changed our topic to something serious. This bro, inamin ko kay Beth na mahal ko siya. She was surprised to hear those words from me. She was silent for a long time. And then, I saw the tears in her eyes falling. She said, Bakit ngayon lang? Bakit hindi noon na alam ko namang may nararamdaman kayo sa akin? Naghintay ako dyan. I've waited for so long, pero wala kang ginawa. Tapos ngayon, kung kailan may boyfriend na ako, saka ka magtatapat. Napaka-selfish mo dyan, she said. First time ko umiyak bro habang nagpapaliwanag sa kanya. I told her na mahal na mahal ko siya at ayoko mawala siya sa buhay ko. I begged her to give me just one chance. Pero sinabi niya sa akin na mahal na niya si Vince at ayaw niya sa kanito dahil nakatakda na sila magpakasal pagkatapos ng kontrata nito at uuwi na sila sa Pilipinas for good. Parang pinagsaklupan ako ng langit bro. Uuwiyan ang mawawala sa akin si Beth dahil sa pagbaliwala ko sa kanya. Pagkatapos ng aming pag-uusap ay inihatid ko na si Beth pa uwi. Sobrang-sobrang sakit at pamihinayang ang naramdaman ko. Nang matapos ang kontrata ni Vince, ay pareho silang nag-resign ni Beth at umuwi ng Pilipinas at nagpakasal. Upang makalimot, ay naging laman ako ng mga bars sa gabi just to get drunk para makalimot. Sinikap kong aliwin ang aking sarili sa pamamagitan ng alak at babae hanggang sa makasanayan ko na ang ganung buhay. Paminsan-minsan ay nagbabakasyon rin ako ng Pilipinas upang dalawin ang mga magulang ko. Tinulungan ko ang mga kaibigan ko na makapasok sa aming kumpanya, kaya sila na ang nakasama ko sa pag good time. Subalit, nagkaroon ng malupang sakit ng father ko na naging dahilan upang maubos ang savings ko. Mula na magkaproblema ako sa pera, ay nilayuan na rin ako ng mga kaibigang tinulungan kong magtrabaho sa aming opisina. Dahil wala naman daw silang may tutulong sa akin financially. Naintindihan ko naman sila dahil may kanya-kanya silang pamilya. Doon ko na-realize na naging wild din pala ako sa pera at konti lang ang naipon ko. Noong namatay ang father ko, doon ko naisip na sinayang ko lang pala ang buhay ko sa pagtatrabaho sa ibang bansa dahil hindi kagaya ng mga kaibigan ko, wala akong binuong pamilya, bro. Masyado akong nasilaw sa success ko na ang pinakaimportanting bagay na dapat kong gawin ay hindi ko ginawa at iyon ay ang pagkakaroon ng sariling pamilya. Nang dumating ang pandemic ng COVID-19, labis na naapektuhan ang aming company and my employer decided to shut it down to avoid more losses. Kaya sabay-sabay kaming umuwi ng Pilipinas ng mga kaibigan ko. Habang nasa aeroplano ay excited na rin yung mga kasama ko kasi magkakasama-sama na sila ng kanilang pamilya. Samantalang ako, tahimik na nakikinig sa usapan nila. Malungkot dahil wala akong sariling pamilyang uuwian. Pamilyang dapat sana ay makakasama ko sa aking pagtanda. Bumaba ako sa aeroplano na nag-aalala kung ano na ang mangyayari sa buhay ko. Isang successful na engineer sa ibang bansa ay umuwi na isang matandang binata. Mag-isa akong nakatira sa bahay na naipatayo ko noong nasa abroad pa ako. At sa bawat araw na bumigising ako, ay pinanghihinayangan ko ang mga panahon na sinayang ko. Ngayon ko lang na-realize na wala pa lang saysay ang tagumpay o sa labi kung wala ka namang pag-aalaya nito. Kung mag-isa ka lang sa iyong pagtanda. If only I could bring back the hands of time, having my own family will be my priority, bro. I wish I had been man enough to tell Beth that I love her. Maybe we are enjoying life with our grandchildren today. I regret wasting my younger years enjoying my success and money. They are worthless memories when you are all alone waiting for your appointment 
with the Creator. I hope to hear from you bro, para naman gumana ng konti ang regrets na nararamdaman ko. Is there any chance na makatagpo pa ako ng mga kasama ko sa aking pag-iisa? Sincerely, John. Di kita malimutan sa mga kaping nagtaan. Ikaw ang... Sir John, thank you for sharing your story. Alam kong maraming OFW ang nakarelate sa kwento mo. Marami tayong mga kababayang OFW na nakafocus lang sa pagtulong sa kanilang pamilya sa Pilipinas at nakakalimutan na ang kanilang mga sarili. Lumilipas ang panahon sa kanilang mga buhay at hindi nila namamalayan na tumatanda na pala sila at huli na ang lahat para bumuo ng sariling pamilya. I know how hard it is for you to realize that your achievements doesn't make you happy at all. You may have enjoyed it when you were at the peak of your career, but nothing is impossible in this world. Hindi masamang mangarap. Being able to fulfill your dreams is never and will never be wrong. But somehow, in the process, you forgot that life is not at all about success. Youth and time, when not valued, can lead to regrets. You choose to prioritize your ambition than to have a relationship with Beth because you thought it can ruin your career. But that was only your assumption. What if it turned the other way around? That being with Beth will inspire you more to bring out the best in you. You could have been both happy and successful at the same time. The opportunity was there. You knew that Beth has a mutual feeling with you, but being conservative, she may not have the guts to tell it straight to your face. So she just waited for you, but eventually gave up when she met a guy who knew how to reciprocate her feelings. Sometimes you are caught between our heart's desire and ambition. But we should not be afraid to try because the experience will allow us to grow and make wise decision in life. It would be best to take the risk than regret it the rest of your life. Vince, on the other hand, knew exactly his priority. He chose Beth over a greener pasture being an OFW because he knew he can be successful and happy with Beth on his side. And that made him wiser in his decision. Time is the most precious thing we could ever value because once we lost it, we can never bring it back. I used to be an OFW. I've seen friends who enjoyed life, work hard for their families, but never forgotten the importance of raising their own family. They may not be as successful as you, but they are absolutely happy. Sa ngayon, the best thing to do is to embrace the present so that you can move on and still be happy. Wala nang saysay ang panghihinayang na nararamdaman mo, pero yung lungkot ay pwede pang mapalitan ng saya. Just pray to God na makatagpo ka pa rin ng isang taong magmamahal sa iyo at makakasama mo sa iyong pag-iisa. Hindi man para bumuo ng isang pamilya, but to have someone who can feel that emptiness in your heart with her presence. Hindi lang ikaw ang nag-iisa. May mga tao sa mundo na katulad mo nagahanap din ng mga kasama. God bless and thank you Sir John and I will pray for your happiness. See you all next week for another episode of Dear Bro. You can send your story to the email address that you can see on your screen. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to Raycat TV YouTube channel and hit the notification bell para updated kayo palagi sa mga bagong videos na i-upload ko. Maraming salamat at hanggang sa muli. Ikaw pa rin Ang hanap ng puso Ikaw